Hello, it's another math day with you here with teacher Jenny. Join me in for another discussion and this time we are talking about standardizing. Standardizing, by the way, is a process in which we are converting our row scores into Z scores by using the formula Z equal to X minus the mean over the standard deviation. So Z here is the Z scores or the Z value found in the Z table. Our X here is the row score, wherein that is the gathered data. That's a result of your gathered information in there. And we have our mean as the average or the mean of your gathered data and the standard deviation as the distance from the data or the distance of the data from your mean. So let's now have the first problem. Here, So we have here, the average age of a company's president is 56 years old. Assume that the variable is normally distributed. If the standard deviation is 4 years, find the probability that the age of a randomly selected president will be between 52 and 58. So again, we've got here our mean as 56 and our standard deviation as 4. So that means to say that is our key point there that we really need to undergo standardizing in a manner that we are going to express our mean as 1, I mean 0, and standard deviation as 1. So let's do the standardizing. First off, when you are answering word problem, you need to know the given. So the given are the following. We have the mean. You will know that that is the mean because you have these words, the average beforehand, or you can have there the mean. Take note, they are the same. So once you see that one automatic, the next or the succeeding value of that one will be your mean or the average in there. So we have there the average age of a company's president is 56 years old. That means to say our mean is 56. No, no need for you to write the unit in there we, that we have as years old because automatic everything there, every value will be in terms of years. So no need for you to copy that one. But later on, once um, you will be answering problems pertaining to the row score, of course, you will be attaching back the unit in there. But since we're looking for the probability in here, the unit really doesn't matter. So next, we go for our next given there of the problem. We have if the standard deviation is 4 years, so that means that our standard deviation is equal to 4 because it says so on the problem. Now next, we need to find the probability that the age of a randomly selected president will be between 52 and 58. Take note, we have two values in there. Now, if you've got two values, if one of them is not your mean, that means to say that you are looking for the probability in which you will have there between your two Z scores because you've got there two, two row scores in there. So, automatic, you also have two Z scores. But in the event that this will be, let's say, for example, that the other number there is 56 and we know that 56 is the mean in there, then that would simply mean that we only have one Z score and that area or the probability in there is connected to the center of the normal curve or to your z equal to zero or to the mean. So I hope that's clear. So we have to be very, very careful with this type of problem. Now, since this one here, you've got there two row scores. So we will be um, naming that one as x sub one for the first one. Take note, you may interchange the names there. That really doesn't matter at all. So we have x sub two as 58. Now next, we look for their corresponding z-scores using the standardizing formula in which we have their z. This time, we are naming our first z as z sub 1. That will be equal to x sub 1 minus the mean over the standard deviation. Take note, you will be 
um you will be following also if you have their z sub one you will be also having that x sub one in there okay so let's move on let's try to plug that in so we have our x sub one as 52 minus our mean which is 56 and then our standard deviation which is four so once plugged in, then we have to solve that one, 52 minus 56, that is negative four. And then we divide that by four. So negative four divided by four, that is equal to negative one. So our Z value, Z sub one is equal to negative one. So let's go for Z sub two. So we have here Z sub two, that will be equal to X sub two minus the mean over the standard deviation. So we have that one as 58, and then we subtract that with 56, and then we have our standard deviation, which is equal to four. So computing, we have 58 minus 56, that will be equal to two over four, which is equal to one half, or that is equal to 0.5. So we're taking on the decimal value there because we will be locating these values on our Z table. So let's now move on. So we have here, we are looking for the probability of, uh, or the probability that the age of a randomly selected president will be between 52 and 58. So that means we are looking for P of, um, the lowest value here is negative one. So we have that as negative one. And then we have this one, and of course, we have the other value as 0.5. So we are looking for that value in our Z table. So let's now locate those values there. Now, when finding probability, you know that we are also finding the area. So you will be recalling how to find the area when it says they're in between the two Z values. So again, we are going to follow um, SSS and so with OSA. I hope you were able to watch the videos, my previous videos on the finding the areas wherein I'm using SSS or OSA in there. SSS for same sign, subtract, and also for opposite sign, we add. Now, without your illustration in there, you can really, really look for the area right away by simply looking at their signs. Now, looking for Z1 and Z sub 2, you have their negative and positive. So we know what to do. We're adding because they have opposite sign. And simply looking at the illustration, if we are going to illustrate that one, we have negative one somewhere here and our 0.5 will be somewhere here. So if we are going to draw line connecting to the curve there, we know that this is the area that we are looking for, or this is the probability that we are looking for. So we know what to do by that. We are simply adding the area from zero to 0.5 and zero to negative one. So we are correct when we say we are using also Opposite sign, we add, or you can have that, that one as opposite sides, we add. So we're adding the corresponding um, areas for the Z values in there. So let's try to locate first our negative one. Now negative one and the area of positive one, they have the same value. Take note, your negativity on the Z values are just the location of your Z value on the normal curve. If that is negative, that means to say you will have that one on the left side of the curve. So they will have really the same value of your area with positive one. So let's try to look for the area there. We have one as the value for the Z. So of course, we will be looking at the column under 1.0 and of course, on the header with a zero. So this is now the area. We have 0.3. Let me change the ink first. Sorry on that one. So we have here 0 0.3413 as your Z sub one area. 
So let's now locate on the z sub 2. Z sub, z sub 2 is 0.5. So that is somewhere here. We don't have any other um, digit right after 5. So automatic your header will be with 0. So this is now the area that we are looking for. So that will be the area that we're adding to your area on negative 1. So we have there 0 0.1915. Adding that up, this is equal to 8. 2, 13, and then we have a 5. So we have 0 0.5328, or this is equivalent to 53.28%. So that would simply mean that the probability there of the age between um, 52 and 58 will be only 53.28%. So what does it mean? That selecting your president of the company with those age bracket that will only be 53.28 percent so that is more likely i mean less not less likely but there is a possibility that you will be choosing that age bracket as your president of the company because we have that one as 53.28 percent okay now let's go to another Okay, we have another problem here. The average length of time in minutes a student answer or answers a 10 item true or false test is 15 minutes and the standard deviation is 2 minutes. So suppose there are 50 students who took the test. What percentage of the students spent 15 to 16 minutes answering the test? So let us know first the given. So according to that one, we have the average length of time as 15 minutes. So we have that as the mean. And of course, with the standard deviation as 2 minutes, so we have standard deviation equal to 2. And then we have here um, two scores. We have 15 to 16 minutes. So that 15 there, as you can see, that is also the same value for your mean so automatic we only have one x value here which is our 16 because our 15 there as one row score would be equivalent to zero automatically as our z because again we will be doing x minus the mean over the standard deviation so x will be 15 minus 15 that's a zero divided by your standard deviation automatic that is a zero so this would simply say that this problem that the area there is connected to your mean which is equal to z equal to zero so i hope that's clear so we have only one x value to solve so solving for your z-score or standardizing the z-score for this row score here, we can have it as x minus the mean over the standard deviation. So our x here is 16. We subtract that one with our um, mean here, which is 15. And then that will be divided by our standard deviation, which is 2. So 16 minus 15, that will be equal to 1 over 2, or this is simply equal to 0.5 as our Z value. So that is our Z score. And let's now find its probability or the area. Um, when we say about percentage or when we talk about percentage, this is actually the area in terms of a percent or a probability in terms of a percent so let's now look for the area okay we have here z will be equal to 0 0.05 as our z value a while ago so let us now find its area now take note this is attached to your center or the mean because we have there um find a percentage between um, 15 to 16 minutes so that means to say since our 15 is our mean that means to say that the area there is connected to our center or the middle or our mean so if i'm going to plug it in or try to illustrate that one not plug in but illustrate here on our normal curve 0.5 is somewhere here so of course the area that we are trying to look for is this area 
So that means to say we are just simply going to look at the value of the area on our Z table. So we have this one here, which is equivalent to 0 0.1915. So that means that our P of 0 0.5 there, that will be equal to 0 0.1915. Or the answer to the problem there is simply 19.15%. So the probability there or the percentage for a student to take it between 15 to 16 minutes only, that is only 19.15%. So that means, means to say that that is less likely going to be. Also, if we're looking for the probability, but since we're looking for the percentage of those students who are taking the test between 15 to 16. So I think you could just simply conclude that this is with lesser students only. Okay, so I hope you've learned something from me on finding or standardizing your row scores and finding its percentage and so with the probability or the area. So again, join me with another discussion on standardizing later on. I'll be uplo uploading more videos that involves um, a problem with at least below, above, or at most. Okay, so I'll see you around. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos regarding statistics.